Welcome back everyone. We've been talking about covalent bonding lately and so the other day I had a fantastic question from a student and I wanted to go over it here. The question was, hey, where does that double bond come from? We were working on an example problem and I want to show that example problem here so that you can have a deeper level of understanding about how to address problems like this how to master the material, how to ace tests, and so on. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. The example problem I want to do is C4H8. So I have been talking about double bonding. I have done a couple screencasts in the past that I'll put up links to to help you to get to this stage. If you're not here yet in terms of understanding, please watch those screencasts. But let's go ahead and see what this example is like. One thing that I've suggested that you do is to go ahead and make single bonds with everything that we have. And so once we start doing this, we're going to make single bonds here. Hydrogens really only need single bonds anyway. We start to anticipate a problem, or I would think you would start to anticipate a problem here. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It looks like I'm not going to have enough hydrogens to go around. That could be a problem. So we'll think about that. Remember, hydrogen needs only one covalent bond to be stable, whereas carbon is usually going to need four covalent bonds to be stable. So let's continue. We're going to say, all right, well, what we do need then is to notice this hydrogen right here is fine. It's got four covalent bonds. Over here, this hydrogen is not fine. It's only got three covalent bonds. And if we broke down what it has in terms of its Lewis dot structures, it would have something like this. So it's really only going to have six valence electrons around it. It's not going to be stable. The other carbon right next to it is also not fine. Both of them need more electrons. So let's go ahead and draw this out. Let's draw this out in a Lewis dot format. I'll go ahead and draw the four valence electrons for this carbon. And for the hydrogens here, we'll draw them in as well. And also, one other thing I want to point out that I'm doing is I'm alternating my symbols between dots and triangles to try to make it clear where these things come from. Okay, and so one way I could have solved the problem up top with this diagram up top is to draw a double bond here. If I would do that, that would mean eight shared electrons around this carbon atom, eight shared electrons or four covalent bonds around this carbon atom. And the student asked me, hey, where does that double bond come from? And the answer is the double bond comes from these electrons right here that are not currently being used for bonding. What's going to happen is this will come down here. So we'll have two triangle electrons, meaning two electrons from this left carbon atom. This electron will come down here and so we'll actually have four shared electrons that's going to form two covalent bonds right here in between these two carbon atoms this can also be drawn with the double bond in between two other carbons so i will sketch that out really quickly too and so notice in this way of looking at this carbon this would be on the first carbon this is on the second carbon so the bond is in between the first and the second carbon whereas on this diagram over here this is on the second between the second and the third carbons over here for counting from left to right. And so they are not exactly the same structures, but both of these structures will have the formula of C4H8. So I hope that makes sense. The important thing I want to point out again is that to make the double bond, you have these electrons right over here that end up moving from being a lone electron into being a shared electron and forming a double bond in between the two atoms here. And that makes everything stable in this compound. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for listening. And if you have enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to my screencasts. Thank you.